Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Bella with Bella Hitana Tarot. All right, so today I just wanted to do a quick check-in with what's going on with the karmic and the divine masculine. So let's just go ahead and get started. What's going on with the karmic spirit? And then we'll dive into the masculine. So what's going on with the karmic? Okay, we have message of concern. So she could be very concerned about something. We're going to get down to it. But she's trying to stay busy, okay? She's trying to stay busy and not think about it. What else, Spirit? What's going on with the karmic? Yep. <laughs> it's related to the masculine. Uh, this is uh, the Ace of Cups, so... Yeah, she's really um, concerned that the situation is in bad health with him, okay? What else, Spirit? Yeah, another message here. This is the bird house, so I, when I see birds, I just think about messages. So, very concerned here, and it's surrounding him. Yeah, really wanting to get down to the bottom of it, anchor down the truth. What else, Spirit? What else is going on with the karmic? Family room. So this could be where she's wanting to have a talk with him about this concern. Usually family room is where people gather right before the event, you know, like the dinner. Like, have you ever guys, have you guys watched that show? Um, I can't think of the name right now. <laughs> it will come to me later, but I'm, I'm like hooked on that show. Downton Abbey. There we go. That's what it is. That's what that reminds me of. They usually get together in that room before they have dinner so I feel like before they move further she wants to finally find out what's going on there this is a decision here to be made okay give me one more spirit yeah that's her wish that's her wish she really wants to get down to the bottom of something that what she wants to bring to light to be able to build this foundation to be able to be um, at peace in her home, in her home life. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Let's break it down with some tarot. Why is message of concern here, Spirit? For the karmic? Wow, Page of Pentacles, okay? That's usually somebody that's coming forward with a message, okay? And they also move a little bit slow, so she's concerned. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles reversed, so there's been some something shady going on. She doesn't feel like she's able to trust. Give me one more spirit. Okay. Yeah, that's what's going on in her world. <laughs> really um, tired of going around in circles. Just really wanting to get getting out of that cycle. It could involve travel. But yeah, that's her wish. Interesting. Wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. And why is this one here, spirit? Yeah, this is very toxic. <laughs> this situation is very toxic with the masculine. And also the double stands for like negative thoughts. So she has some negative anxious thoughts about this message that could come from him. Eight of Pentacles reversed. 
but she's not wanting to, to find out. It's almost like she wants to know what the truth, but then she doesn't. Wow. Give me one more spirit. Okay. <laughs> she feels like this message might be involving him letting go of her. Yeah. This is what it is. So she's wondering what is what is it gonna take for for us to be able to move forward because everything's just in in the air right now. That's her wish. Again, she wants to be able to switch things around to a new perspective. Why is the birdhouse here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This this means when it's the reverse, there's a separation here. So I feel like he knows that these news are coming, that he's going to finally tell her, I don't love you. And I want to move on. I'm going to fly from the bird's nest. Yeah, but she feels stuck right now. King of Swords reversed. She feels like either she's not moving forward to get down to the truth or he's not moving forward or both. Why is family room here, spirit? Yeah, she's very confused. Very confused and wanting to, like I said, um, really get down to the root of the situation before they continue on. So this could be that she's finally starting to see things clearly in order to get to that outcome. We got six of cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like she's still relying on their memories, like just relying on the past. Give me one more spirit. Why is seven of cups here reversed? I just want it to pop out. Oh my god. Look at this. Three of Cups reversed. Okay. She's starting to see that he doesn't want this anymore. Or she doesn't want this anymore either. Wow. Six of Cups again. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's almost like she wants things to go back to how they used to be. And look, look at this. This this was at the top of the deck. I just happened to flip it and I saw it. No communication. But there's no communication going on. Okay, so it seems like either he's avoiding it or she's avoiding it or both. Why is the will here, spirit? Oh my gosh, it came out again. <laughs> she wishes for the memories to happen again, like how it used to be. And she feels like that's all she can focus on on her three of cups, how things used to be. And Spirit is telling her, you need to love yourself and move on from this because this is not for you. But she's holding on. She's resisting this change. Wow. Let's see, why is the palace here, Spirit? The bottom of the deck. I came out again. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so she doesn't feel stability in this connection. And she has a desire to, for a new beginning, either with the masculine to start things over again, like fresh, or going off on her own. Give me one more, spirit. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed? Queen of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> oh my god look at this <laughs> I okay anytime there's two queens that usually means a rivalry okay so this home cannot be happy a happy home 
if this if this is going on okay she's being impatient here two of wands she's starting to run out of patience oh my god look at this and the empress reversed i mean that's double confirmation here that there's no happiness here in this home because of this third party situation there's no stability and no truth no truth at all in this situation and two of wands upright is usually somebody that's looking into the future when it's reversed you're no longer looking into the future you're just stuck wow so that's where she's at right now you guys <laughs> that's where the karmic is at right now feeling really stuck she knows that she is part of this third party situation she wishes things could be different but he knows that he's starting to cycle this situation out where he wants to start fresh because now he sees things differently from a new perspective he wants to move on and they, these two add up to a 10, so she's getting to the end of a cycle where she's tired of wishing for something that's not going to happen. And it's not, because we saw the, the two of wands reversed. This partnership, twos are for a partnership, this is not happening. Wow. Okay, let me get a tea leaf. What is the overall energy for the karmic spirit? Secret admirer, okay? So she could still be admiring the masculine. Look at this, bottom of the deck says, um, do not be tempted to lower your standards, okay? So for the sake of being with him, don't lower your standards, which she already has, pretty much. Look at this. Tent, temporary situation, okay? So instead of having this stable home right here, she feels like this is this is not stable. This is just like we're in a camping tent. <laughs> Bottom of the deck here says um, you will be playing a different role. Right below that says dark woman, dealing or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So that could be you, feminine, that she knows you're in this third party situation. <laughs> and these last two. So we have temporary problems, lighthearted, carefree time. One of the deck is uh, position of authority. So I feel like she wants to get out of this temporary situation. They have temporary problems. She wants to get back to lighthearted, carefree time but it's not happening yeah it's not happening because of the foundation this connection was built under which is not stable so anything that's not stable is going to come down like the tower right it's going to come crashing down Okay, so let's see. What is the masculine feeling towards the karmic spirit? He sidetracked, delays, distractions, change. Okay. Loss, grief, sorrow, pain. So he's feeling a lot of pain in this karmic relationship and we saw a bird so that also shows that he's wanting to come you know communicate that he's not happy and now we have second chance making amends opportunity plans intimacy closeness sexuality seclusion so something tells me that he wants to um Part of him wants to be optimistic 
and have a second chance. But we're, we're going to break that down and get more specific, like, what does that mean exactly? But you know what? Right beneath that says limit. Final straw overload breaking point. Hmm. We're going to break it down here in a little bit. <laughs> Look at this. Pretend. Mask. Exaggeration. Bluff. He's tired of pretending with this karmic. Yeah. Deja vu. Past life. Karmic lessons. Repeated patterns. Yeah, he's tired of being in this karmic cycle. Deja vu. Like, this is the same thing over and over again. Like, maybe they went and, and got a second chance and, like, start, started things up again with each other. And then it's still the same thing happening. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So, euphoria, chasing thrills, joy, laughter. This could be that he's tired of pretending to be happy. <laughs> Since they came up right next to it. Um... We'll, we'll break it down some, but wow. Now we have boundaries. No drawing the line. Okay. What else, Spirit? Maybe one more. What's going on with what the masculine feels towards the karmic? This kind of came in reverse. <laughs> Longing. Aching, pining, past love. Okay. So, it could also be that he's longing to be happy because that's not the situation right now. Yeah, he wants to be established. Look at that. Family, triumph, security. He wants to have stability, but something tells me that he doesn't feel stable with this connection. Look at this. Beginnings, new direction, fresh start, chance. I feel like he wants to start over like brand new with most likely the feminine. Yeah. Okay, let's just get some tarot and see. You see that? Oh, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> so why is sidetracked here, Spirit? Why is sidetracked here? Okay, so <laughs> Magician in Reverse is, there's been some manipulation going on. He doesn't feel like he's manifesting what he really wants with this connection, you know, because he's distracted. He basically used this karmic to distract himself from not having to deal with himself. Look at that. Not having to deal with, with the Empress, which is you, feminine. Give me one more spirit. Why is magician here reversed? Oh my goodness, look at this. Five of Swords. Yeah. Th this was him fighting himself, trying to manipulate the situation by being with this karmic. And, you know, this is just a distraction from moving forward because he's delaying him himself, delaying his happiness. Look at this, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Why is the second chance here, Spirit? Okay, it came out in reverse, so he's not wanting to move forward with having a second chance with the karmic because it's already been very painful. Look at this, Ten of Swords. It's already been very painful. Give me one more spare. Yeah, Six of Cups reversed. So he doesn't want to hold on to those memories with her. Oh my God, look at this, the Empress again. Okay, so he's distracting himself from the Empress, right? Manipulating situations to avoid the Empress, right? Which is you. And 
if the second chance opportunity comes up, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it with the karmic. Because all he can think about is the empress. Oh my gosh, look at that, the hangman. We saw that earlier on her spread. He's wanting to let go of this second chance that he may have gone into with the karmic. Wow. Why is pretend here, spirit? He's pretending to be happy. <laughs> he is tired of wearing this mask of being happy in this commitment. Yep. Double confirmation. This is a four of wands. He is tired of pretending in this commitment. He wants to be able to give equally, and that's not what's happening with this connection. Because most likely, the karmic is giving more to him than he is to her. And he's tired of it. Give me one more spare. Because he knows she's not the one. Look at this. <laughs> Three cards that confirm commitment. He's tired of pretending. Pretending to be happy. Remember what I said earlier? He's tired of pretending to be happy. Oh, here. Th these are the happiest cards. One of the happiest cards of the deck besides the sun, okay? Look at this. Eight of Swords. He keeps putting himself in this situation because he can't stop the cycle, the repetitive patterns of anxiously thinking of negative thoughts. Two of Wands. He has a desire to venture. Yeah. Why is Euphoria here, Spirit? Yeah, he wants a new beginning. Ace of Rods is an Ace of Wands. He wants to have the strength to be able to go after that new beginning. With, you know, now that he's awakened to this connection with the feminine, now he has the awareness about the spiritual connection you guys have. Give me one more spirit. Why is Ace of Wands here? Okay, so that kind of started to come out in reverse, but he doesn't feel like he can be this King of Pentacles in this connection with the Karmic. So he doesn't want to give her his coin. <laughs> You know, like he just doesn't want to give her the stability because he's just tired. He wants to go after his ninth cup, his wish fulfillment. Look at this, Ace of Swords. He wants to finally tell her the truth. Wow. Why is he longing here, sir? Okay, so Seven of Wands. I mean, Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> seven of Pentacles is an energy where... You're waiting for your your crops to harvest, basically, to harvest. I can't even talk. And he's longing to not wait anymore. He's getting impatient, okay? Because he's pining for his past love, which is a feminine. He's out here looking for her. Like, where is she? He's not even interested in, in this ace of wands behind him. You know, this is basically like the karmic behind him. And he's holding on to his desire for you, feminine. Because we saw that with the ace, ace of wands here. And this is your one here that he's waiting for you to come grab it. Yeah. He wants to balance the scales and come forward and speak some truth. Okay, judgment came in reverse. So he knows that he did not make things right with you. But he wants to um, finally come forward, step into his King of Cups energy. Look, and I just happened to split it, King of Wands. He wants to step into this energy to be able to finally make things right and revive your connection. Because he's pining, he's, he's aching for it. Wow, why is established here, Spirit? 
when it comes to the karmic wheel of fortune so when it's when it's reversed that means there's been a delay okay and we saw that here with distracted sidetracked so he honestly feels with this karmic that he has delayed his own family you know like his desires to have a family to have triumph and security he's delayed it because he could also be feeling too comfortable to leave a situation but he's he's contemplating it right page of wands he's curious about it give me one more spare he's contemplating it though because he's he's tired of pretending we saw that earlier the world in reverse so yeah he's really he's really putting his own blocks in the way to not be able to move forward but he's getting to the end of that cycle this is a ten of swords again this is the second time it showed up look at that eight of cups he wants to walk away from this karmic yeah, he has a desire. Look at that desire. King of Rods, King of Wands. To walk away. And I'm curious now. Why is this new beginning here? <laughs> why is that here? Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Look at this. He, he wants his happiness. He wants a fresh new start. can't make this up you guys you cannot make this up he doesn't feel happy with this karmic situation he wants a fresh new start a second chance a new chance you know a new direction he's wanting to be vulnerable this is a star card healing he wants to heal he wants to move forward six of swords he wants to finally speak his, speak his truth and heal. Give me one more spirit. Why is the sun here? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And usually all these cards are upright. Okay. For some reason. The sun and the moon. Okay. That's feminine and masculine feminine is the moon sun is um masculine energy he wants to balance out his energy to be able to speak his truth face his fears okay the moon is about fears secrets coming to life you know having that new beginning because now he knows what he wants you guys are gonna trip out okay like i was saying all these cards are usually upright. For some reason, <laughs> the Seven of Cups is reversed. Okay? So that means that he finally has clarity on what he wants. And he wants this new beginning. Because he's in love with you, feminine. Okay? <laughs> Cannot make this up. Because this has been very painful. Again, Ten of Swords showed up again. Wow. Yep. Yep. I mean, this just confirms the message for sure. Let's just get some tea leaves. see what's going on why is sidetracked here for the masculine spirit beware of self-delusion okay yeah because he basically deluded himself into this karmic situation let's see bottom of the deck yep he deluded himself that this was his wish that he wanted to go towards Okay, why second chance here? Successfully overcoming a problem. Okay. That definitely confirms earlier. Like he's finally wanting to, 
you know, make his way back to the feminine. Because now he's in a position of authority, bottom of the deck. He's finally stepping into that king energy. Why is pretend here? You're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life, okay? So, I feel like he's pretending to be happy in this connection because he's trying to pretend like that's the right path for him. But deep down, he knows that's not. His soul knows that that's not where he's supposed to be. Look at this, bottom of the deck. Someone will try to make you do something against your will, okay? So... He feels like she's not looking out for him like you were, feminine. Like, you always looked out for his best interest, and this karmic is not. She's forcing him to commit to her. Yep. Why is euphoria here, spirit? Short journey. <laughs> okay, because... I feel like he's finally starting to realize I don't want to give my pentacle to her. I have a desire for my feminine. Look at this. This is at the bottom of the deck. Dark woman. Dealing to relations with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So maybe you have dark hair, feminine. But he has a desire for you. And this was just a short journey that he went on with the karmic. But now he's ready. he's ready to come home, basically. That's what that is. He's ready. To, he's ready to come home. Okay. So why is aching, pining, past love here, spirit? Oh wow. <laughs> so we got wishbone. A wish is granted, and peacock. Beware of great pride. Okay. So I think this is why he's getting impatient because he wants to make his wish come true with you, feminine. And he's dealing with his ego also because his ego doesn't want him to make things right. That's why the judgment's in reverse. But he wants to. He wishes to revive this connection. That's why it's here in the first place. Even if it's reverse, it's here for a reason. Okay? So. And look at this. Bottom of the deck, dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. So, this could also be that you could be in a third party situation, feminine. And that's why he's being impatient because he knows he can't come in yet because you have somebody in your life. Or this could be a family figure or a friend in his life that's in his ear, like giving him advice. Hmm. Kind of interesting. But take that how it resonates. <laughs> okay, so why is established here, Spirit? Time to get out of a situation. Oh my gosh. Can you believe this, guys? Time to get out of the situation because this is why the wheel and the world need to be upright. He's tired of being in this connection with, with the with the feminine. Look at this bottom of the deck again, the club. Someone will try to make you do something out of your will. Okay. So why is beginnings here, spirit? Successful outcome to your problems. He wants to get the hell out of there <laughs> he wants to get out of that almost like as if he's in a jail you know like he wants to be free from this karmic look at this bottom of the deck forces working against you okay so he's wanting to set himself free so that he can be balanced with his emotions and his, his masculine energy and feminine energy so that he can be able to have a, that new beginning with you, feminine. Because now, now he has clarity. Seven of Cups reversed. Why is the Seven of Cups here, Spirit? One more. Oh, this one's really sticking out. 
you will be shown the way. Oh my goodness. I feel like spirit is letting him know. You will be shown the way so that you can get out of this confusion, okay? So that he'll no longer be confused. Bottom of the deck is scissors. Disappointment and some affair. So that once he has that clarity that spirit is helping him come to that, that truth, he's going to be able to cut himself away from this karmic. Because he's disappointed in this situation with her. Because she's not the one for him. And look at this. Right below that was like stepping into a new experience. Stepping into a new experience. A new beginning. Because he's over this karmic. He's so over it. It's like you guys, you know, dealt with this third party situation. But it taught him what he doesn't want. Okay, he's finally realizing that what he had with you was special, that you're the one. But he couldn't have realized those things unless he went off somewhere else on his, you know, his little short journey. He couldn't have realized that until he went on that short journey. And now he's like Odysseus. Now he's wanting to come home after a long, <laughs> a long voyage. Finally coming home to his family. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the things I come up with sometimes is funny. Wow. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. But I love this reading. I think it was very insightful. A lot of these cards came out in reverse, and this deck is not supposed to be in reverse. So that's definitely Spirit's way of communicating. <laughs> but let me know in the comments if this resonated with you. Um, definitely like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to comment. Love to hear from you guys. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.